In this video, we'll introduce you to the LabVIEW environment. LabVIEW is an engineering tool that allows you to create virtual instruments, to use your computer to measure data in the real world, or to control a robot. A virtual instrument, or VI, is a LabVIEW program that consists of two windows. The front panel is where you design your user interface with scientific controls and indicators. The block diagram contains the code that implements your behavior with the programming language that uses graphics instead of lines of text. Let's create a VI that converts Celsius to Fahrenheit using the following formula. On the front panel, we can right-click to bring up the controls palette. Let's create a thermometer indicator and name it Celsius. You can use your mouse to resize the thermometer. We'll create another thermometer and call it Fahrenheit. Next, we'll create a stop button to allow you to stop the program. As you can see, front panel objects also correspond to an object on the block diagram called a front panel terminal. Front panel terminals can be either a control to provide data or an indicator to display data. In this case, we want to provide Celsius data and display it as Fahrenheit. Let's right-click on Celsius and select Change to Control. Notice the small arrows on the front panel terminals are now pointing in the correct direction. Now, let's implement the formula to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's first multiply the Celsius value by 9. We'll right-click on the block diagram, and from the numeric palette, drop the Multiply icon. Go to Help, Show Context Help. This is a useful window to see the inputs and outputs of a function. Now let's connect the Celsius control to the Multiply input. To wire objects, do the following. Move the mouse over the Celsius terminal until it changes to a wire spool tool. Click and release. Now move the mouse to the input terminal of the multiply function and just click and release. Now let's take a look at a useful shortcut. Let's idle over the second input terminal for multiply. Right click and select create constant. Give it a value of 9. Next we need to divide the result by 5. We can go back to the numeric palette and drop a divide function. Let's quickly wire up the result and create another constant to divide by 5. Now let's drop an add function to add 32 to the result. We can now wire the final output to the Fahrenheit indicator. Our code is a little messy, but we can use this broom button on the toolbar to automatically clean it up. Now, let's run our program. Go to the front panel and set the Celsius value. Click the Run button on the toolbar to calculate Fahrenheit. Now we would like to run our code over and over again until the Stop button is clicked. In LabVIEW, we can visually represent this by using a loop structure. Right-click and from the Structures palette, select the WOW loop. Notice the cursor has changed. Click and drag the loop around the code you want to include. Notice that the Run button is broken. If you click on it, you'll see the error dialog. It informs you that the loop condition is not wired. Let's connect the Stop button to the Stop condition of the WOW loop to fix this problem. Now let's go to the front panel and run our VI. Notice it will continuously calculate Fahrenheit until you click Stop. Now that you've created your first LabVIEW program, be sure to watch the other videos and work through the Teach Me and Challenge Me tutorials. Soon you'll be using LabVIEW as a tool to create impressive programs for your science and engineering projects.